Howdy, friends, and good Monday morning to you. Hope you had a fantastic weekend. I am meteorologist Chris Martin, and we're looking at another chance for rain coming back to the high plains for today. This morning time, not so much. We do have a lot of cloud cover over our eastern Texas Panhandle counties. Leftover from some storms that popped up over the South Plains, Lubbock area last night. A few of those actually continue on this morning. Maybe a brief shower or storm turning in the direction of our southern Texas Panhandle counties, but the chance for rain for most of us will be waiting until later on this afternoon and in the evening hours as well. Severe weather outlook today. We have a marginal risk for severe weather from our southwestern Kansas counties, western Oklahoma Panhandle into eastern Colorado and northeastern New Mexico. That marginal risk including the possibility of strong gusty winds upwards of say 58 to over 60 miles per hour in some situations. Those thunderstorms again say after 4 or 5 p.m. today. Hail threat is on the lower end of the scale. Not as much of a hail threat as the wind threat for today and the flash flooding threat also a possibility for any thunderstorm that slows down over any one particular location. Now this morning time, middle of the day, no good chance for rain. 10 o'clock, 79 degrees outside will heat up to 87 at noon. The winds picking up from the south and east at uh, 5 p.m., 15 to 20 miles per hour, and will heat up to a high of 94 degrees here in the city of Amarillo. Now we'll have enough moisture in the atmosphere for this afternoon and plenty of heat, of course, for that possibility of storms, but most of the activity will pop up over eastern New Mexico and then drift across the Texas Panhandle or Texas New Mexico state line later on in the day. 5 p.m., a storm or two close to Clay Heading towards Tucumcari with a high of 97, 93 out towards Clovis, and 99 out around Childress for the afternoon hours, about 95 for folks in Canadian. Again, later on tonight, we'll see those storms moving into the central Texas panhandle closer to 8 or 9 p.m. before clearing out, and then the overnight hours will fall back to the 60s and the 70s, and there will be enough moisture for potentially some patchy fog out there once more. For Tuesday, we top out at 95 for Amarillo on July 4th, more of the same. The winds back off a little bit from being breezy, and then on Thursday, and Friday, we cool down a hair or two, if you will, to the upper 80s and low 90s. And by Friday, that high pressure system that is going to bring us the drier conditions this week will move off towards the west and allow for a few more storms to move in this direction. 89 coming up on Saturday afternoon. We'll be back to the mid 90s for this coming Sunday. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Of course, if you do have a thunderstorm developed near your location for this afternoon, take your outdoor plans inside. Have a great one, and we'll see you later on. Thanks for clicking on myplanes.com.